Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about A, B, C, D, E assessment. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. The learning objectives in this video we will be discussing are what is A, B, C, D, E assessment? What are the components of A, B, C, D, E assessment? What are the uses of ABCDE assessment and how to perform ABCDE assessment? Let's get into the topic. Now, what is ABCDE assessment? The ABCDE assessment is a systematic, structured, and comprehensive approach used in healthcare, but mainly in emergency medicine and critical care to evaluate and prioritize patients rapidly during the initial assessment. This approach helps to identify and address life-threatening issues in a specific order to provide timely and appropriate interventions. Now comes components of ABCDE assessment. The acronym ABCDE represents five key components of the assessment that is airway, breathing, circulation, disability, and exposure. Now, uses of ABCDE assessment. ABCDE assessment is a useful tool for nurses providing a systematic and organized approach to patient assessment and care. First is rapid assessment. This provides a quick approach to assessing critically ill or injured patients in a systematic manner. Next is prioritization. This helps prioritize interventions based on the patient's condition. Next is early identification of issues. This assessment facilitates the early identification of life-threatening issues, enabling prompt intervention. Next is standardized approach. This is a standardized method for nurses to assess and communicate patient status. The next use is comprehensive evaluation of patient care, including airway, breathing, circulation, disability, and exposure. Now comes how to perform ABCDE assessment. Assess for airway patency. Ensure that the patient is in a position that helps maintain an open airway. Ensuring a patent airway is essential for adequate oxygenation and ventilation. Next, look for signs of airway obstruction, that is strider, wheezing, or difficulty breathing, etc. Next, ensure proper head positioning to maintain an open airway. The head should be in a neutral position and the neck should be slightly extended unless contraindicated. Next comes breathing. Assess respiratory rate, rhythm and depth. Auscultate breath sounds. Here, find whether the patient has abnormal breath sounds such as ronchi, wheezing, strider, crackles, rails. Check for signs of respiratory distress. Observe for signs of increased work of breathing such as the use of accessory muscles, nasal flaring, or paradoxical chest movement. Administer oxygen if indicated. Administer supplemental oxygen if the patient is hypoxic or shows signs of respiratory distress. Next is circulation. Assess heart rate, blood pressure, mean arterial pressure, central pulse and peripheral pulses. Look for signs of poor perfusion, example capillary refill time, skin color, temperature. Administer fluids or medications as ordered. Next comes disability. Evaluate the patient's level of consciousness using a scale example GCS or AVPU that is the alert verbal painful and responsive scale. Assess pupillary size and reactivity. Check for neurological deficits. Now comes exposure. Expose the patient to assess for signs of trauma or visible abnormalities. 
maintain patient privacy and dignity during exposure, look for signs of bleeding, wounds, or other injuries. Now comes documentation. Document the findings of each component of the ABCDE assessment, record vital signs, interventions, and the patient's response, collaborate with the healthcare team for further assessments and interventions, communicate effectively with other healthcare team members through documentation. So, so far we have discussed what is ABCDE assessment, what are the components of ABCDE assessment, what are the uses of ABCDE assessment, and how to perform ABCDE assessment. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it, and subscribe it, and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.